Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles. So since last episode, I've just been mainly getting ready. It hasn't been a whole lot of time since last episode. Uh, mainly been getting ready for what we're going to be working on today. If you recall last episode, we got our atomic reconstructor, we got our resonator, we got, you know, generators up and going, making some power, but we want to make that more efficient and it's not a huge step to do so. Not to mention we want to get speed upgrades to make the... You know, the creosote get pulled out, the oak gets sent there uh, to the coke ovens faster, and the charcoal pulled out and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start diving into some extra utilities, power generation, and we're going to have to start off by getting ourselves our manual meal. This thing is evil <laughs> because you generally only have to use this for like a split second. You still have to use it, and it is, it is a bit manual. Um, so, well, you don't really have to hold the button, but you do have to stand there, so. Um, okay, let me pop up, okay, let me go ahead and get, uh, eight redstone torches, and then we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves two redstone gears, and then we're also going to need, I actually probably should have just made a bunch of those, we're gonna need to get ourselves 16 pieces of stone, and then we're going to need some redstone and some copper. Uh, to make the copper coils and then we're pretty much set and then we needed silicon stuff But I went ahead and got those together. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make four. Let me actually get some more copper. I want to make one more of these actually so That's and let's get one more copper coil. I want seven of these in total So while we're making them might as well go ahead and make a few extra um, Okay, I think um, oh yeah, I moved my uh, my thing over there. That's fine. I think that's everything that we need for this, though. I mean, we needed some plates and stuff, but I went ahead and prepped those. Um, actually, before I go over there, let me grab like a, a bunch of stone. We're gonna need like sixteen. Actually, before we go over, let's go ahead and get the stuff together to make the water mill as well. So we're gonna need two lapis. I'm actually gonna get enough to make five of these, though. Um, which I did get some more gold plates. We're going to need those later. And we're going to need some ender shards, I think. Yeah, we just need one for this. So I'm just going to grab those. Those are left over from whatever we used them for before. I don't remember. And then I'm just going to grab a stack of that fresh water. Uh, we don't need nearly that much, but <laughs> just because we can. And then I'm also going to need the gold plates I've already got, the copper coils I've got. Uh, I need some redstone gears, so let me go ahead and get 20 redstone torches, and then we'll get our five redstone gears, and we should be all set. Yeah. Okay, so let's pop over, and one thing to bear in mind about extra utilities now is there is diminishing returns, um, so do keep that in mind. There's our manual meal, and... Now if we come over here and we set this up, we're just going to set it up next to the resonator. Like I said, we're only going to use this for a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and add in our... Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to... Uh, stone burn is normal, right? Polished stone, yes. Okay, so we're going to take stone bricks. We're going to make polished stone. We're going to throw that into there. And then we're going to start revving up the manual meal. Now we can just sit here. Um, I don't have to hold right click. I can just keep my uh, focus pointed on the manual meal and it's going to rev that up. Okay, this has been running for a minute. You can tab out while it's running. Um, I was editing footage while it was running. Uh, we have a bit of stone burnt and let's go ahead and put ourselves in four pieces of lapis. And we're going to go ahead and get this changed over to lunar dust real quick. Oh, actually we can't. It takes 16 GP. I didn't notice that. <laughs> that means we'll have to change up our plans slightly. So instead of going straight for the water meal, we are going to make water meals. Uh, my plan was to couple them, water meals and fire meals together. And so we're going to have to actually start with um, some fire meals and then get our water meals. And actually, I think one fire meal should be fine. Um, so let's, let me see. Actually, while I'm over here, let me go ahead and get some more gold plates. That's why I had... Uh, and this is to make more generators. Uh, whoops. There we go. Uh, more generators for our power room. 
Oh, and actually, I think I had, uh, I want to say I had some copper running steel, right? Yes. Okay. I've got the copper seeds, but they don't output enough uh, to meet all of our copper needs, so I still mine copper whenever I see it. Um, especially with this episode, we're going to be using a bit of copper. We've already used a bit of copper. Okay, but we're going to need some fire charges. We actually have a bunch of these things. Let me go ahead and grab four for now. Or no, five. I was planning on making five of these. Yeah. And I'm going to grab another ender pearl. I'm going to break this one down. There's eight more shards. Okay, I'm going to need 40 redstone torches. And then I'm going to need one more, one more oak plank for this. Okay, and then lastly, I need to get uh, like five pieces of netherrack. Um, or any kind of, any kind of item that burns forever. And then I need to get my flint and steel. And now we're ready to go plug this up. Okay, so our fire mills. Let's go ahead and make two of these. We have enough resources to get away with two of them. And this isn't going to be enough to make lunar dust on its own. But uh, we, do have, uh, we do have the manual mill still, so we can use that. Uh, this little area down here, this is something I dug out earlier. And basically we're going to use this for GP production. So it's kind of tucked away out of the way, um, kind of underneath the factory here. And the floor is actually going to be at this layer. So I've dug down a little bit here. Um, but what we're going to do is, let's see, our fire mills. Let's dig away this. And we'll dig away this. Let's see, netherrack there. Another rack there. We're going to have one left over, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put one in the middle here. That should be fine. Or actually, let's dig this. Let's actually dig this back by one, in fact. Oh, my inventory's filled up. That's fine. Let's get rid of that. Some free copper. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and light these on fire. And then we'll just put our fire meals on top of that. There we go. So we're now generating 8 GP. Uh, 8 grid power. Okay, so now we should be able to head back up and we should be able to... I think we should be able to make lunar dust when we combine it. You can see while I'm running the manual meal, I'm now producing 23 GP uh, instead of just 15. So, and we need 16 GP per uh, lunar dust. So I'm going to let this run for a second while I edit some footage. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I got our 10 lunar reactive dust made. I'm popping up, uh, back over here because we're out of stone again. Um, each stack of stone is only enough to make four of these because it does require the 16. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two more stacks. And let's actually go ahead and convert this over. Um, I can actually just hit K and compress those. We're going to get two stacks of polished stone. Uh, luckily, with our two fire meals, we're at the point now where we don't have to actually make stone burnt by hand anymore, which is great. We're actually at the point now where we really don't have to, we really don't have to keep the manual meal up and going. We're about to have plenty of GP, so it's not, it's not really a requirement anymore that we keep that, uh, we keep that going. So, okay, but it is going to be a while before this polished stone. Um, is converted into enough stone burnt for us to make more fire meals and more water meals. So what we're going to do while we're waiting, let's pop down here. Let's go ahead and get everything set up for the water meals. And I actually need to make another resonator as well. <laughs> but luckily we already have the item relay because, you know, it made two. So that is going to save us a bit, of the, a bit of the hassle. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our water meals where I dug out right here is each of these spots is going to be a water meal. We're going to start with five. Now, one thing to note, if you hold shift here, you can see we're going to be generating 16 GP per water meal because I believe it still gives four per side. So it ends up being 16. So at four, uh, at four water meals, we're going to start seeing some GP loss um, at 33%. Okay, uh, so that is something to make note of. But let's go ahead and we're going to dig out these corners. And we're just going to bring it across like that. And then over here, we're going to dig out corners. Um, actually, this one, we're going to dig out corners like that. And then on these, we're going to dig out there, there, because we don't want to make an infinite water source. And then we're going to dig out there and there. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, I think I can just place down, oh, I can't place down source blocks with that. Okay, is there any way that I can turn that back into a water bucket? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to actually get water buckets. That's fine. There we go. And then what we can do is we can just pop down here. We're going to have a water block there. We're going to have a water block there. And you get the idea. <laughs> We're going to place water blocks all down through there. I need to pop up there here in just a second and see if my, uh, my stone burn, how it's coming along. There we go. There's all of our water source blocks. And then, of course, I will decorate this floor. My idea is we're going to have a glass floor that runs over this. And uh, we're just going to have water meals kind of set back through there. And then kind of a walkway where you go back through. And, uh, you know, there's GP production all the way down through there. Um, okay, so the stone barn is still ticking away. Uh, let's go ahead and fill that up. So it can keep working. And then let's get ourselves, uh, we've got enough resources to make two of our water meals. So we'll go ahead and do that. These are more efficient than fire meals. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and focus on these. But the fire meals, you can actually get, uh, you can set up 10 of these before you start getting reductions in efficiency. So everything is different. So wind meals, you can see 512 GP on those. Lava meals, 200 GP. Lunar panels and solar panels, boats, 80 GP. Um, the dragon egg meal, 500 GP. That's basically one of them, and you're going to get uh, diminishing returns after that. And it actually goes up to 95% efficiency loss. Uh, the creative meal is craftable in this pack, but it's very, very light. It has no diminishing returns, but at that point, um, once you have a creative meal, it doesn't really matter. So, <laughs> um, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place down a water mill there and then what we'll do is we'll just break off that block that block that block and that block and you can see that this is now producing 16 uh, GP and then if we place down then one right here and we break off these blocks that one is now producing 16 GP as well so um, and we'll just put that right there for right now so Okay, but I need uh, I need three more water meals and I need some more fire meals. So uh, let me see. What do we need to make another resonator? Electrum, steel, silicon. Okay, let me get on that real quick. And of course, my inventory is all like mega janky right now. Oh, we actually have enough. Yeah, let me grab that. And this is done. Let's go ahead. I'm just basically splitting up these things for right now. Uh, just so I can get them out of my inventory. There's another water meal. Okay, so now we're producing 56 grid power. And that's all passive. Between our two fire meals and then our three water meals. So, and we still have a little ways to go. Um, but I would like to get another resonator. Because we're going to need one for making stuff like stone burn up there. Uh, one that we have access to. And then we need one for our automation setup. So it would be nice to get a second one uh, before we actually start setting up automation for red coal. I'm actually starting to get really dangerously low on gold. I do have, uh, well, I've got 20 gold ore here. So I should take that over and get that running. Um, because otherwise I'm going to run out of gold. Like, I don't know if we'll run out of gold this episode, but uh, I do need to go mining for gold. Um, it was actually sad because I found a deposit of gold um, between episodes. I was mining a little bit. I didn't mine a whole lot between last episode and this one. It was basically just trying to keep my eye on a float. Uh, this pack is very resource heavy, uh, which I do actually love that about it. But I was, I was mining for gold, and I found a decent sized deposit of gold. And I was looking down, I was mining, and a creeper snuck up and blew it all up. So I, I managed to get like one piece of gold out of it, um, and then it was destroyed. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think we've got, well, I've got all this stuff. Uh, let me get, I'd rather not break all this down. So let's do that. I'm going to throw away the rest of that water because I don't need it. There's another water meal, and then I just need some more of this. But luckily producing uh, or pulverizing copper down 
Um, it does have a chance to make gold. It's a fairly decent chance, so you can get a little bit of gold that way as well. Um, okay, so another water meal. And remember, after this one, we start losing efficiency. So we're up to 72 grid power. And our goal is we're going to try to get up to about 800 grid power. Uh, the reason being is because the red coal actually caps out at 800 GP uh, for its efficiency boost. Or no, I'm sorry, 700%. Uh, you can see our current efficiency boost is 90%, and that's with our current our uh, current GP production. And then if we activate the manual meal, we have 109% efficiency boost. So, and this is, uh, the efficiency boost is uh, done in real time, so if you start, if you start producing, you know, more GP, and you already have a bunch of red coal made, it's still going to update, so it's going to produce more power. Um, so you don't have to worry about maxing out your GP all at the start. You can just add as you, you know, add as you get more GP, and that's A-OK. -okay. So, um, we should have everything, I think, to get this, uh, oh wait, I never made the plates, so. <laughs> Whoops, I was working on them, but I got sidetracked. Oh, and I forgot the red alloy and the resonating redstone crystal as well. So, I need to pop over and get those. And then we just need to make three more fire mills. I'm going to continue adding more GP, uh, but we are going to be at the, of course, we're already at the cutoff point for the water mills. So we're going to see an efficiency decrease on this next one that we place down. Uh, so a third of the GP is going to be lost on it. Okay, so let's pop down and let's set up our fifth water mill, our fifth and final water mill. So whenever we place this one down, you can see right now we have a 72 grid power and we start producing power with this, you can see we have a 7% efficiency lost. Uh, we are producing 14.93 with this one. So it went from, um, let's see if we pull this up, we're producing 72, and now we're producing 82.67. So you can see we did, we're not producing quite as much off that one. Um, I feel like the effective power, 14.93, three it's more like 10 but still we're up to 82.67 that's good if we take a look at the red coal now uh, efficiency is 103 percent awesome and remember that the efficiency boost it's not current efficiency is efficient efficiency boost so basically the red coal is 203 percent as effective as normal coal or charcoal um as far as its burn time. So we're now sitting at a double burn time um, over what we would have with just standard charcoal. So uh, this should be done. Yes it is. So let's get our resonator and we're about to start producing some um, red coal. So um, one thing to bear in mind is that this uh, the red coal does if you want maximum efficiency, you're going to need about, um, well, I don't think it's 700 GP. I think it's more like 500 and something. I can't remember the exact number. But that doesn't have to be free GP. That just has to be total GP production. So you can be using that GP for things like speed upgrades and resonators and stuff like that. It's not going to hurt the efficiency of the red coal. You just have to have that much. Um, also, this area is going to need to be chunk loaded if we want this running constant. Uh, of course, I need to get into chunk loaders soon anyway, so we are going to be getting into that here soon. Um, now we're up to an 86.67. So we're going to end up stopping at about 94 right now, which really isn't too bad. Uh, red coal is at 108% efficiency boost. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to need some item docks. Let me pop over and grab those real quick. And we got 40 gold and 3 cinnabar. That's not bad at all. I actually love this uh, hook shot for travel. It's so great. Okay, so our servo and our item ducks. That's what I need. Um, I'm also going to want to take a look at the speed upgrades. There's also stack upgrades, mining upgrades. Those I don't think we need right this second. Um, the speed upgrades, we're going to need gold. We're going to need block of redstone. We're going to need upgrade base, which takes more gold. Uh, let's go ahead and get some stuff to make those because we're about to, well, we're kind of nearing the point where our GP production is going to be caught up. 
Oops. Okay, I need to get rid of that thing at some point. Uh, at some point very, very soon, I need to get rid of that. I just gotta get... I gotta get all my stuff moved out of there and, you know, put somewhere else and all that, but... Um, okay, I'm glad we got that gold, though, because... I'm just about out of gold. Like, I would have had enough gold, but not by much. Not by much at all. And let's go ahead and get another fire meal. And then, well, I'm going to leave that running. I got the stuff for five speed upgrades. We'll get that in a second. Well, actually, you know what? It would be better if we just go ahead and do it. So we're going to drop in our weighted pressure plates. Those are going to start running. While that's running, let's pop down and set up our fire meal. There we go. These actually aren't that expensive once you get them up and going. Um, like GP production. It's not very expensive in this pack to expand on, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and what we're going to do... Well, I tell you what. So that we can slot things, let's go ahead and grab a stack of this charcoal... And let's dump it into there. It's going to start running. And, yeah, we're capped out on wood. I noticed earlier that we were capped out. I'm not curious. I'm curious. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're going to be backed up on wood in no time. So, um, and charcoal is steadily filling up. And it's about to get even worse. Well, not worse. But it's about to fill up even faster because we're going to have more efficient coal. So, um that, that, and blocks of redstone, and we get speed upgrades. You can see our max upgrades is four. That's the most that we can put into something um, of this type. And if we throw this in there, you can see it makes stuff a bit faster. Okay. But I'm actually not as concerned about the speed of this running right now. Um, we will upgrade that, but I'm not, I'm not terribly concerned about it right this second. Um, let me go ahead and get another fire meal. What I am concerned about the speed of is our transfer nodes, because these are painfully slow. Um, I think, yeah, I've got that one, and then I've got these. Let me go ahead and put, um, I'm going to put two upgrades in this one, and you can see it's moving a bit faster, it's checking faster, and it's grabbing things faster, uh, which is good. I guess making a stack upgrade on this would actually be, uh, would be worth it. It's just, I was waiting for that gold to smelt up, but we will do that here in just a second. Uh, this is for charcoal, that is for wood. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw in, like, two in there, and let's throw one in there. You can see right now it's backed up. The, the What was backing it up so bad, really, was everything was backed up on creosote. So I'm hoping that with the speed upgrades, it's going to start moving that a little bit faster, um, I do want to get a stack upgrade in that, though. So, um, but you can see our power drain has went up. We're setting it like a baseline of like 14. Well, actually, is it that high? We've got a power drain 1 there, a power drain of 2.06 and 2.06. So our power drain's actually only like 5, but we have two resonators running. So that's where um, I guess a lot of that's coming from. But we have 94.67. You can see our red coal is 118% efficiency boost at the moment. So, all right, let's pop over here. Let's take a look. We've got eight built up in there so far. We're going to go ahead and just dump these into there. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this off, that off. And we're going to move our item duct to right there and then we're going to stick a servo on that so you're going to pull out red coal you don't need to worry about uh you know you don't need to worry about standard coal because or ch standard charcoal because that's no longer our thing and this should be pulling it out yeah there we go it's going to take a little while before it fills up these generators but the nice thing is, we don't actually need the power at the moment because it's not going anywhere at the moment anyway. So, these things aren't the fastest thing in the world. So, there we go. There's our red coal. Now, we just need to get it being auto-created. So, the charcoal needs to be fed into the resonator. Uh, let me pop upstairs. I want to go check on that, uh, that gold smelting 
because I wouldn't mind making some more upgrades. So we've got 34 gold. Let me go ahead and get, uh, let's see, the stack upgrade requires just gold and diamond. I'm going to go ahead and make 11. I'm going to use up pretty much all of our gold right now. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and make 11 weighted pressure plates. But we're going to go ahead and make 11 more. Um, we're going to make 10 speed upgrades and then we're going to make one stack upgrade. Now we could put stack upgrades in the item pulling for like, you know, the oak wood and the charcoal and stuff, but it's actually not that important for us. Uh, because that, that side of things tends to keep up at least right now that may change whenever, you know, creosote's being pulled out in a timely manner. Uh, but right now creosote's been being pulled out very, very slow. And so I'd like to speed that up a bit. Not to mention, I wouldn't mind making our resonator just a bit faster. And also, don't forget that our um, red coal can go into the Steve's carts as well, making those more efficient. And we're going to do that uh, here in just a minute. Okay, so there is, um, I needed, what, two, two, and three. Let me steal one of these. I got, I'll be fine with three in there. And then let me get a stack upgrade. There we go. And now we should be all set. It is going to put a little bit of a, a dampening effect on our uh, GP production overall. Um, but it's our main use of GP at the moment. So you could see that fully upgraded, well, it still only says 2.06. So it's actually not that bad. And we'll throw three in there. There we go. 4.38 on that one. And then on this one, 4.38. And then we throw the stack upgrade. It's a 5.38, but you can see that... Whenever it finds it, it, full, it pulls out a full bucket instead of just 200 millibuckets. So it's going to empty out that creosote much faster. I will probably end up adding stack upgrades over there as well, but that's fine. This should, this should actually start keeping up with some creosote a bit better anyways. This one's still backed up and it can't do anything, but uh, it's getting there. It just takes it a minute. Or actually, did I ever plug this one up? I threw some wood in there. No, I never plugged this one up. That's why it's not pulling it out. Um, I threw this wood in manually, and it ran, and I emptied out the charcoal, but then I guess I ended up backing up on creosote. Because three of these weren't running like full efficiency, so I was having to, whenever I came through, I would manually add some wood and pull out the charcoal, because the wood was starting to back up, and I needed places for wood to go, and yeah. So, um, okay, so this here... Um, we need to get the the, uh, the red coal automatically being made, and really I should probably pull these speed upgrades out of here and use those for making red coal. And this can go. I don't actually need the manual meal anymore. I wonder if it's used. It's never used for anything. Okay, there we go. Make that just a little bit faster. Um, so you can see our power drain is actually managing to hit up around 60. Um, but we have 94, and that's really all we're using it for. So, okay, I went ahead and made three more upgrade bases. Um, I literally have three gold to my name. I have some nuggets, so maybe more like five or six gold. I don't have much. I'm just about out of it, but um, let's go ahead and get one more speed upgrade. Let's get two more stack upgrades. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our stack upgrades to these um, just to make it a little bit better because... Well, I guess really that doesn't matter. It's keeping up on wood. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that stack upgrade. I don't really need that there. Um, but over here, I've noticed that charcoal was building up. It's not anymore. There was like 40 charcoal in these, all four of these. <laughs> because it was basically, it was it was pulling, but then we get over to these, it was just pulling like one, and it just wasn't keeping up. So, um, But you can see we've already produced quite a bit more charcoal doing that we're up to 24 and we're up to 634 buckets of creosote so once we set up our treated wood automation we're going to be in business and then our planks and all that stuff but um, we're going to be working on that here soon um, let's go ahead and grab this resonator which i now have four speed upgrades for that and what we're going to do let's uh let's set this up um, i'm thinking we're going to have the uh setting just um well let's bring our item ducks back and what i'm thinking is let me jump up here real quick we're gonna have um and let me grab my wrench um we're gonna have an item duct here 
and we're going to break off. Oh, does that connection, does that not work? Engineer's hammer work? Nope. So I guess I'm going to have to make a crescent hammer, uh, which is tin and iron. So let's warp back. Okay, so if we set that there, we right click, we're going to break off that connection. So it doesn't, it doesn't connect. And then what we're going to do is, I guess I could actually just run it along the top. Because this is all going to be hidden. Um, let me break off that. And then it's going to come out. That's perfect, actually. I have just enough item ducts for what I would like to do. Um, we're going to set the resonator up right here. And then this will make sense once we actually decorate this room out. We're going to say ignore redstone. So this is going to start pumping out charcoal. It's going to send it over to this resonator. This resonator is going to have four speed upgrades in it. Um, and then I've got, I've actually got one import node left. I'm going to have to go grab that. But this should send enough, uh, yeah, it sends eight at a time. It should send enough to keep this thing running without issue. Um, Uh-oh, our power is starting to cap out, though. Our GP consumption is starting to cap out. Because we're producing 94.67, but we are capping that out. We have a 5.38 drain there. 4.38, 5.38. Where are we capping out all this power, though? Oh, right here. It's 80.38 with four speed upgrades. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to be able to run four speed upgrades in that just yet. Um, <laughs> that's fine. It's 64 GP with three speed upgrades. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's still going to produce plenty of red coal. Um, so I actually didn't need to use... That was what... Uh, Six of my gold that I didn't have to use. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's pop back over here. And I've got, uh, let me grab my node router. Let me grab this uh, input routing node. I need to make some more of those. I've got to build up more, um, more souls in my Tartaric GM. So we do need to get that, uh, that automated or easier. Automated and, well, easier and then automated soon, but we will do that pretty soon. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is we're going to set our input routing node. Uh, let's see. the um, This side right here should be good. So we're going to say input routing node because uh, this one we can cover pretty easily, this side, uh, with the way I want to set this up. We're going to say input routing node, and it's going to connect up to the output routing node here uh, that feeds into the drawer controller so this should start pumping in red coal it did um, it's going to immediately pump it out to these generators um, until these are backed up that's fine um, but what I want to do is let me grab this red coal and I think this, yeah, this has got, oh man, it's starting to fill up that too. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be putting oak wood in here, but it is. Because this is supposed to be engine pulling in items, but it's uh, it's pulling out stuff. But anyways, what I wanted to do is I want to change this to, to uh, yeah, I want to, let me get rid of that. I want to make this red coal. And then I want to set this to 198 that it keeps on hand. Or, I'm sorry, 190, 192. Um, three stacks. Okay. And we'll go ahead and add this there. I'm going to leave that charcoal there for right now. Are we really filled up on apples and saplings? No, we're not. Okay, maybe using one side is just kind of wonky. Because it does things like this. <laughs> Which really isn't ideal. But I guess that means when the cart comes back around, it's not going to be able to dump its items anywhere. So it is going to start backing up and basically just getting stuck here at the cargo manager waiting. Um, I want to get void upgrades on this, but I also want to increase the amount of wood that we're actually using by adding in planks and treated wood and uh, adding in some void upgrades and adding in storage upgrades and 
Um, see, it's gonna. It, the thing is, it's gonna take so many generators to use up the amount of red coal that we've got um, because this stuff is just super efficient. So I think eventually this room's gonna be like packed full of generators, but uh, it's just a matter of getting them all made because it's gonna get expensive really, really quick on iron. Um, I guess I need to add in these other four Coke ovens and get those plugged up, or the other three and get the four of them plugged up. Um, but the thing is, the charcoal is going to back up too. It's not going to be enough consumption uh, to match the amount of wood that we're generating. So, regardless, we're going to have to do something about that. But Let's take a look. This one is actually drained out on power, I guess. I don't know, the power is going somewhere. I'm not, I'm not really quite sure where. Um, because, I mean, this energy cell is filled. Um, it's possible it's actually wasting power or something. I'm not sure. But anyways, if we throw this in here, um, you can see it's burning a bit slower than charcoal is. And it should output more power in the long run. Um, so out of curiosity, let's see what this goes up to for a single piece of red coal. And mind you, this is only setting at a 118% efficiency boost. So it's not even, you know, it's not even that great at the moment, considering it can go up to um, a total of eight times normal coal, you know. But it looks like um, it's going to be able to almost completely fill a generator with a single piece of red coal. 87% charged. Wow. So 34,000 RF from a single piece of charcoal. <laughs> and the nice thing is, I mean, upgrading it to red coal is free, basically. Once you get the GP, it's just, it's always there, you know. So, yeah, super, super efficiency boost. And we've actually almost got enough in here that it's going to fill this out. And our cart is going to receive red coal when it comes back around. And I'm going to let that start building up. I'm not really sure where our cart is at present. It's clanking along back here. <laughs> And collecting stuff. You can see there's some saplings that it wasn't able to dump off the last time it came through. Um, it's going to very quickly back up. So I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode. I'm glad we got the efficiency boost. And we, we kind of really got into extra utilities pretty heavy this episode. Uh, which is good. That's done. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I've been stockpiling this. Because uh, after I go gold mining, I would like to... Maybe get some more GP production, make our coal more efficient. But but next episode, whenever we come back, we are going to start adding in some auto crafting into this room beyond what we currently have because, uh, you know, we've got this stuff. I want to start getting into using the saplings and the apples. I'm really happy with where we're at with the wood. We'll just continue to increase the efficiency on the red coal and we'll be in a pretty good state, I think. Um, but I want to start working towards using... The saplings and the apples, but I want to take like an episode or two uh, from that and get things like planks and treated wood, some of the stuff that we need for storage drawers, some stuff like that automated and being stockpiled within this room. And then we'll come, you know, we'll come right back to uh, working up some of the power gen because, well, actually, in the process of working up the power gen, um, we're going to have to make. Or we're going to have to start getting into a bit more Tech Reborn. So we'll probably do that as well. But uh, but we'll tackle that stuff next episode. So, um, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.